Hey there, welcome to Violet's DIY Style. If this is your first time to my channel, I'm Violet and I hope you consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to click on that bell button so you can be notified every time I upload a new tutorial. And if you enjoy this tutorial, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. So today, I'm going to share with you how I made this adorable Easter centerpiece for your coffee table or even your dining room table, as well as an alternative for an Easter basket, which is going to be a letter basket. So the first DIY we're going to be making is a coffee table centerpiece. You're going to need three of these candle holders. Now these are these uh, decorative white um, candle holders that you could get at Dollar Tree. They usually have different color ones, but you can use any kind you like. And all I did was add some permanent glue and hot glue, stack two of them together, allow that to dry for a few minutes, and then I'm going to put permanent glue and hot glue on the top candle holder flip it over onto one of these succulent bowls or like a pot that you can get at Dollar Tree right now. And I'm just going to allow that to dry. And that's going to be my first tier or stand. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same process with this one candle holder. Now, if you have more candle holders, you can easily stack these up to three. I would say three would be the highest because and then you would be kind of maybe, you know, it would be harder for it to tilt or easier for it to tilt. So I would say three would be the most I would do, um, but you might be able to do more. So all I did again was just go ahead and glue those and allow everything to dry. Once everything was dry, since I'm going to be using these for Easter, I decided to go ahead and paint them a soft pale pink. You can paint them any color you like. And the good thing, um, or what I'm thinking about doing, if I don't keep these for Easter for next year, I might just go ahead and spray paint these maybe a silver to use them all year round. So that's another um, good thing about doing different DIYs, especially when you do kind of these kind of trays and stuff like that, because you could easily just change them up by spray painting them or painting them again to make them a different style or you know give them a different look so that's something to keep in mind when you do uh, any kind of tray especially if you want to use this like for a coffee table centerpiece or something like that so again for Easter I just decided to go ahead and paint it this really pretty pink color and it's a very soft pale pink not a blush but it's almost that color so I just gave it one really good coat. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and set this one aside and let it dry before I give it the second coat. Now, when you do um, use paint to paint any kind of project that you are doing, or at least what I do, is I tend to have the a clear coat spray paint on hand and I always try to spray paint it with that clear coat just to give it that protection so my paint won't chip off or anything like that. Um, but if you are going to use these for food, I would highly recommend you add a doily or something like that um, on top of your tray before you put your food on top of it. So just go ahead and repeat the process with your second tray by adding that first coat of paint and then allowing them both to dry before you give them that good second coat. Now I did paint the interior of it um, simply because you'll see that there's like a circle where you can see that I glued it together right there but if that doesn't bother you you can leave it as is and then you can just put chips and dip in here um, and just give it a good wash because it would be cleared. But again um, I just didn't like that little area so I decided to paint my interior part as well. Um, and I'll just put a doily in here if I want to use this for food. So just go ahead and allow it to dry and then this is the way it looks once it's all painted two times, which is a really, really pretty pale pink. So this is the way I'm going to be decorating mine. I'm going to make them very simple this year. For one, the lowest one, I'm just going to add a whole bunch of Easter eggs in there, not even put moss or grass or anything like that. I just wanted to keep it really simple. The second one, I'm going to use two stems of these pale pinks, one of the uh, brighter pink rows, and then one stem of the other pink. So I just got a few different color pinks, and I'm just going to go ahead and layer them. So what I did was I just layered my first rows all around the rim of my tray by adding a candle in the center as well. And these are just the clear glass candle holders or candles that you can get from Dollar Tree. And I'm just kind of wrapping those roses around there. So once I was done with the first layer, I went ahead and just grabbed my second rose, which is this really soft pink color as well. Um, and I'm just kind of making a certain pattern, just trying to figure out how to put them on here. And then I'm going to turn on my candle and that's basically it. 
So it was really easy to make and I think this makes such a high impact because since there's two of them, it looks really pretty together. So for our second DIY, what I'm going to do is this popular letter basket or gift box that you can make. And I've made these before, showing you how to make them for bridal showers and even a baby shower as well. But I'm going to show you again just to make one for Easter because I've seen these on TikTok and Pinterest and they're so popular. So I just decided to go ahead and make one just to share with you again how to make this letter basket. So all you're going to do is just print out or even hand draw the letter that you're um, needing. So it can be an initial or whatever you want to make that letter from. And then you're just gonna go ahead and cut it out. And I'm just using a poster board, or I'm sorry, this is the project board box that I'm using. And I'm just scoring it and going to go ahead and cut out the letter T. Now, if you're going to put something a lot heavier in here, um, besides candy or maybe even a little gift card or something like that, I would recommend you double it up and stack two of these tees together, cut out two of them, and then glue them together so it can just be a harder uh, bottom for your basket. So after I did that and cut out just the one tee, I went ahead and just folded that same printout of the tee to get my edges. So here I am just cutting the top part and then I just folded the bottom part of my tee. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I, I did about three or four rows, um, not knowing how much, uh, how much I was going to need of these rows. So basically they're about a half an inch in thickness uh, to an inch. So all I did again was just trace out four to three of these little rows of these um, pieces of cardboard that I'm going to cut out to make my lining of my tee or the edges, you could say. This is great to give it any kind of gift, a personal touch, because it is something that they can display and keep on hand, especially if you put some faux flowers in here or something like that, that they can keep up all year round. So once you're done cutting out all of your little strips that you're going to glue around your tee or whatever letter you're using, all I did to score it and kind of wrap it or roll it around to make it more flexible, my cardboard, I just grabbed a permanent marker and basically just rolled it around just to give it that little arch and softness of all these little cardboard pieces in order for me to wrap it around my letter. And everybody does this differently, but this is just the easiest way I found to do it for myself. So once I was done, I went ahead and just started wrapping all these strips around my tee with some hot glue. Now, again, if you're going to put something heavy in here, I would even maybe recommend you do this a little bit wider, the strips, and maybe even um, use some staples around the letter just to make sure that it stays in place and it doesn't fall apart. But since I'm going to be making this one with just some simple candies and stuff like that that isn't too heavy, um, the hot glue works perfectly fine. So just go ahead and start wrapping all of your little strips around your letter and just hold it in place, making sure all the glue and everything dries. Since it is cardboard, it dries pretty quickly. So just go ahead and hold it for a few seconds. I think this is such an adorable way to give any kind of gift. And when I started seeing them for Easter, I thought, wow, this is so cute. So like I said, I'm putting, um, for this one at least, some just some Easter candies and things like that in here but you can do this and use it for so many different ways from a party you know you're gonna have a birthday party you can make it numbers add balloons to this you can even you know put different flowers or even chocolate covered strawberries so there's so many different ways to use these letter baskets so once I was done wrapping all my tea and fixing it all up I decided to go ahead and just paint it this hunter green since it is gonna be an Easter basket theme. Um, but you can also, if you don't wanna paint it, you can spray paint your letter, leave it as is, or you can even use maybe some um, scrapbooking paper and decorate it that way as well. That would look really cute too. So again, I just decided to paint it mine, the Hunter Green. So I'm just painting it and I'm just gonna let this dry. And I let this dry for a few hours just to make sure that all the paint was nice and dry before I did start adding everything in it. So here is, I'm just going to add some um, really pretty yellow grass from Dollar Tree as well. 
Then I'm gonna put a cell phone um, case in here. And just some decorative Easter eggs that I had, some goody candies that they like. And then I also made some Easter bunny ears, um, some DIYs of those, and those are on my channel, and I'll make sure to leave a link for those as well. And I'm just gonna put that in there too. So it's really fast, but so adorable to give one of these as a gift. So I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Until next time, you guys stay blessed. Bye.